Today, we're going to learn about animal adaptations. Where's Gus? Girls, can you come in for a second? I need a favor. Yeah, Gus? Hey, grab that, Quinn. So, I feel like I need to adapt and get ready for summer. So, can you cut my hair off? No, 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 no. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't need to do that? No, you already adapted. <sighs> good. I really didn't want to. Could you imagine what I would look like bald? Well, let's just learn about adaptations. Good idea. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Click it now. Right now! Right now! Right now! Right now! Throughout many years and generations, animals have changed over time to survive in the habitats they live in. And this is called adaptation. For example, when it gets cold, you put on a coat to keep warm. Or when it's hot, you wear shorts and a t-shirt. That is how you adapt to changes in your surroundings. Well, animals don't have clothes, but they still adapt to the changes around them. These adaptations happen by their environment, which is their climate as well as the food that's available to them. And animals also need food, water, shelter, and they need to mate to make more babies. Are there different types of adaptation? We're going to find out, I think. That's what this video is all about, right? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Special body parts, such as their shape, skin, and color, help the organisms to survive in their natural habitat. And this is called physical adaptation. For example, the thickness of an animal's fur helps them to survive in different environments. I survive perfectly. Inside that weird sock drawer I belong. <laughs> Gosh, you're not supposed to say anything about that. Oh, my bad, player. A bird's beak helps them to eat food, as well as make nests, and can be different sizes and shapes as well. Hey, guess what? Even eyelashes adapt. <laughs> Camels have long eyelashes that keep sand out of their eyes. Some animals have more than one special adaptation. A giraffe's long neck allows it to reach food that other land animals cannot reach. And giraffes also have very long tongues, reaching 16 to 18 inches long to pull leaves in from the branches. Polar bears have fur that helps them blend into the snowy habitat. Don't we have a video all about polar bears? I think so. We should tell them about it. Watch it. Wow, great job. <laughs> Watch our video about polar bears. We'll link it below in the description. See, that's how you do it. Toucans have very long beaks that are also very lightweight. This is so a toucan can pick up big pieces of fruit toss it in the air, catch it in the back of their beaks to crush it and eat it. Stingrays have flat bodies and swim along the ocean floor. They have eyes on top of their body, but their mouth is on the bottom. This is so stingrays can see what is around them and take in any food that is along the ocean floor. Camouflage is another physical adaptation. Camouflage is when an animal's body is colored or shaped in such a way that the animal can blend in with its surroundings and not be seen. Another type of adaptation is physiological adaptation. And these are metabolic changes in an animal that help them to survive. For instance, snakes can produce venom and maintain constant body temperature to not end up freezing to death in colder environments. Tortoises can hide their head, legs, and tail in their shell, which protects them against predators. 
Kangaroo rats can survive in the desert without ever taking a sip of water by getting all the moisture they need from the seeds they eat. Kangaroo rats? I think I dated a kangaroo rat. <laughs> <laughs> and if an animal changes their behavior to survive in the environment, this is called a behavioral adaptation. Behavioral adaptations are mostly learned by the animal. For example, bird calls and migration are behavioral adaptations. Migration is when animals move from one place to another, like warmer areas during the winter. Some animals do this so they can find food and survive. Ever notice how birds like geese act right before the weather gets very cold? Geese usually fly away in large groups, sometimes shaped like a V. This adaptation helps birds survive by keeping them warm and finding food during the colder weather. And different animals also have adaptations to protect them from predators. Some of these adaptations are behavioral to avoid being seen by a predator. But some other behaviors an animal is born knowing how to do, those are called instincts. A good example of an instinct is when spiders are born. They already know how to spin webs to catch food as well as hang out and live. <laughs> Get it? Hang out? <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Yeah. Bueller? Animals can also become part of a team and work with other animals. This is called symbiosis. Each animal has something the other animal needs. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You don't need those. <laughs> They're trying to be serious. 100% serious. All the time. <laughs> For example, birds called oxpeckers sit on the backs of zebras. They pick off lice and other insects that land on the zebra. It's food for the oxpeckers, and the zebras can get rid of annoying, stinging bugs. Zebras also can't see very well, so the oxpecker screeches when it sees a predator approaching. Then the zebra knows, I gotta get out of here! Hey, guess what? Did you know that plants also adapt to their environment? For example, cacti in the desert have adapted by not needing much water to survive. And even though it may look like they know what to do, an animal does not adapt overnight. It can take hundreds to even thousands of years for animals to learn how to survive and adapt to their local habitats. Believe it or not, Adaptation is how all living things have learned to survive. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about animal adaptations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye! Bye.